So here we go for the start of our Bayesian adventure. We're in some bizarre positions in my job, uh, but this one just has to take the biscuit. We're off the coast of Barbados since day one. We're on the catamaran, and uh, yeah, I sound as if I've got a bit of a cold, but no, it's because I've got this uh, snorkel on me and we're ready to go. They say that I'm going to be uh, swimming with turtles. I'm a little bit frightened because it could be sharks. So I've literally come out of the water after the most amazing experience of my life. Um, I was literally that close to a turtle and then all of a sudden two turtles arrived. It was just absolutely incredible. Uh, all you have to do is just breathe. The water's absolutely crystal clear. It's probably the most just chilled out thing in the world. Uh, it's just, And it's incredible that these animals just come over and they're so cool. They just come over to you and like they want to try and communicate with you. but. It's just bizarre, but it's just brilliant. It's something else, really something else. So we're here with some friends on the catamaran on day one of our excursion across Barbados. Jason and Kerry are from New York. Um, it's your fifth wedding anniversary, and what an incredible way to spend it with uh, with some turtles. Yes, it is. Uh, they actually two turtles got to touch them, swim with them. It was an amazing experience. I mean, in a, in a one to one hundred scale, I'd say like eighty-five. Cheapers creepers, I thought he would even have went there about a night day. I, I've done some crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think that takes the biscuit. That we, have you ever heard of that saying, takes the biscuit? No, no I have not. That's a Northern Irelandism. You could take that I'll, back. I'll take that back. I'll take it back with me. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of Northern Ireland in New York. Uh, Vicky, um, how, did you how did you find the experience uh, with the turtles? Oh, it was wonderful. It was nice to be able to touch them and just, you know, swim, swim amongst them. It was awesome. They're very friendly. Yes, yes. It was awesome. Uh, what are your hopes for the rest of Barbados for your for your journey? Um, we would like to spend some more time on the beach. We're kid free, so some beach time, some pool time, a couple of drinks, and um, some good food. And New York's just beautiful, also. It is. It is beautiful. Barbados or New York? Barbados this week. <laughs> Because he's a member of the crew, but not only a member of the crew, um, Clay is the gentleman who took us on the dive uh, to two incredible ships. Clay, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, Alright, well this first ship that we looked at here, this one was called the Elyon. Uh, it's a cargo boat, they used to bring furniture and goods and stuff into the island. And then um, they got caught with some drugs and some stolen TVs. So they seized the boat and sunk it. And the second one we did was the Bajan Queen, which was actually Barbados's first ever tugboat. And then um, we rebuilt the Deepwater Harbour and they bought two brand new tugboats. So they sold this one, originally called the Pelican, to a gentleman on the island and he was pretty wealthy. He renamed it the Bajan Queen and um, he just used to throw massive booze cruises on it, basically, day and night, 24-7, right? And then uh, eventually the boat just had one party too many. Got too old, nobody wanted to insure, fix, or buy it, so he sunk it on purpose and now the fish party on it, right? Yeah, so there's a huge party at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible. And also, uh, you took us uh, diving with those beautiful um, little turtle animals. <laughs> yeah, man, the sea turtles out here. This Carlisle Bay is the home for sea turtles in Barbados. You know, this is where everybody knows to come. This is where they hang out. If you look around some of the smaller boats, you'll see out here, those are fishing boats. So, um... The reason the turtles started coming here is the fishermen, after a long day of fishing, they would come in and they would start cleaning the fish. And um, so they would throw the scraps into the ocean and the turtles, they're from Barbados, so they're kind of lazy like us, right? So they started eating the scraps and um, yeah, that's how the turtles started coming here. They're scavenger animals, so they'll eat whatever, right? Um, so yeah, so they came around, somebody picked up on it and said, hey, we could turn this into a business. And that's how Carlisle Bay became what it is now. Right. Wow, incredible. Have you any advice to anybody who's who's going out to do 
um, some snorkeling because I find it it's, it's a very very chilled out very kind of tranquil thing yeah uh, where you end up just floating and kind of breathing and the more you can control your breathing the easier it is to kind of enjoy it yeah that's right Neil. it really is about being casual and relaxed but um any advice I have to people coming out don't come alone always come with somebody and try to stay calm that's the most important thing you don't panic always come with somebody and stay calm and make sure you enjoy it right that's all crystal that clear water and those beautiful animals yeah, and, man. and those beautiful ships it's it's something pretty special you have here clay yeah man it really is I, I i lived overseas for a little bit in a very cold country and um when i came back i had a new appreciation for this island and what we really have here and we got some very nice conditions here today not too cloudy um, we've been having some storms and stuff, so it's nice that it's clearing up now and we got some good conditions for some good snorkeling today. So if you were to, to describe life in Barbados in a sentence, that's difficult, I know that. Put it into some small words. Seth, Seth, you got to describe Barbados in a sentence, what, what would you? Awesome. <laughs> yeah man, bliss, pure bliss, that's all I would describe it as, beautiful, beautiful people. Yeah. Frey, thanks very much for your kind words. Pleasure, Neil. It is very much like that uh, from what I... I mean, this is only day one. This is only the start. Um, we've got some incredible journeys uh, between now and the end of the week. And I can guarantee you, I will try my very best to paint the picture and put you in front of people who come from this island and who appreciate absolutely loving this island. <laughs>